steps forward for Brazil. The first penalty of this penalty shootout. This to decide who will progress to the semi-finals. Who will take on either Chile or Venezuela. against Vila. Oh, he's blazed it over the top. It was a dreadful penalty by Alano, who immediately looks down at the penalty spot. So many questions asked about the pitch in La Plata. And was that an influence? Was it a factor? No, it's not a factor. It's a bad, a bad, bad penalty for Milano. You know, he starts with a long run-up diagonal. It's a very slow, tentative jog. And then, as he hits the ball, he's got right underneath it. I had a look, and I tried to look at his standing leg as well. First for Paraguay will be Edgar Barreto, injured in the opening game against Ecuador. Back here as a substitute. He came to his goalkeeper, Vilan's rescue, with a goal line clearance to head away from Fred and he obliges teammates again now in this penalty shootout Pareto for Paraguay and he's wide and again he looks down at the penalty spot just like Elano did after missing for Brazil. Well, it does go for it, the shorter run up. And it is, though, when you just see the turf just digging up at the penalty spot. You know, you just wonder now, because the majority of football players or the majority of players on the park are all right footed, you just wonder if there is a couple of left footed players who take the penalties. Because as that penalty was taken that time the turf underneath his standard foot just ripped up it's a turn of Thiago Silva to do the groundsman's job Thiago Silva he might have missed the game because of a thigh injury Brazil's second penalty, this to put Brazil ahead. It's a good save by Vila. Goalkeeper guess right. Well, he can't blame the turf there, he struck it well enough, he's got the power. But I just think the goalkeeper He's guessed right. It's not the best penalty in the world. It's at height the goalkeeper wants it to be at. Estigriba now for Paraguay. Championships in the past, particularly the European Championships back in 2004. This is the first left footer. Three penalties taken. Nobody has yet hit the net. Este Griba. Emphatic. Paraguay in front. Again, you know, even you see it with a left footer, just watch the turf. Just there, his right foot digs in, pushes the turf up, but he's gone through with full commitment, struck it as hard as he could down the middle. But I'll tell you what, there's going to be a lot more possible mistakes from that penalty spot because now both sides of the, the penalty spot 
has ripped up. Andre Santos. Este Griba of Paraguay. Left footed. Can Brazil score the third time of asking? No! And just look at the divot that has appeared. Well, it's unbelievable, isn't it? You know, he steps up quietly confident, but you go and you look at it, <laughs> look at the divot. This is unbelievable. You know, I've never seen this. The divot pushes the ball slightly out the way as his right foot plants down. He just tries to stab it up the middle. Look at that, his foot sinks about what, four or five inches into the ground. We've spoken about this many times, Tony, about this pitch and the state of it. And it's actually really showing up now. Christian Rivelis, more concerned about the penalty spot than taking his penalty against Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar, who was in the Brazil team that won the Copa in 2004 with a penalty shootout win over Argentina. Riveros! It's 2 0 now to Paraguay. Well, it didn't mean anything to him, did it? He concentrated so hard, he's just gone down. Well, he struck sweetly, just high into the net. Very, very confident penalty kick. Very confident. Paraguay lead 2 0 after three penalties. It means that Brazil have to score with their next kick, and it will be taken by Fred, who frustrated Paraguay when he appeared off the bench and scored a last-minute equaliser when the two teams met in a 2-2 draw in Cordoba. It's going to be a blast from Fred, is it? This to keep Brazil in the copper. And Fred has put it wide. Paraguay is through to the semi-finals. Four years ago, they were beaten in the quarter-finals by Mexico. They were thumped 6-0 after their goalkeeper was sent off after only three minutes. Here, their goalkeeper, Justo Villa, was the hero inside 90 minutes but in the penalty shootout the questions will be asked about the state of the pitch in La Plata Brazil are out three of their four penalties failed to hit the target Thiago Silva's effort saved by Vila I mean, there's a happy goalkeeper he can't believe it you know, this is the you know, we it, but you can only give them so many excuses with penalty kicks and things. It is a big gamble, but the penalty spot, I must admit, was a shambles. Este Gariba was very lucky because he was the first left-footed penalty to take it. He scores his, but then you got to look at Riveros, who often went up, stroke it, and never took a divot. Brazil beaten by two goals to nil.